The devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their splendor. And he said, I will give these to you and more if you bow down and worship me. That's what Satan tempted Jesus with. He would give him everything he wanted in the world or he thought he wanted. Any human usually wants influence, power, money, fame. But you know how Jesus responded? Get away from me, Satan, for it is written. You shall serve the Lord your God and serve him only. Jesus turned down that temptation when he had just been fasting. He was starving. There was all these other temptations, if you're familiar with the story. But Satan, as I repeat almost every day, is the God of this world. He was given authority in this world. He was the fallen angel, Lucifer. A third of his angels followed him. They are supernatural agents in this world, and they're all anti-Christ spirit. They offer that same deal that they offered to Jesus to many individuals. If you show talent, if you showcase talent in this world, you will be used. And the bait and switch is the most common thing being used. Any fans of Taylor Swift, the Swifties out there, everybody loved Taylor Swift early on. I used to use her music in so many wedding videos that I edited. They're very catchy, very sweet, seemingly innocent. Started getting a little bit to where she was like, you know, calling out her ex-boyfriends and this and that. But everything seemed girl next door innocent. But now if you've been watching her, it's a very rebellious side and it's completely turned dark now where she's celebrating witchcraft. And now in a song, But Daddy, I Love You, the lyrics just really mock those of faith. And it lumps everybody together in one cell. And while there is hypocritical, judgmental... Um, Christians and believers of any faith out there, but yes, Christians, it's focusing on Christ is what we're to do, not on people who are all broken. And, you know, just some of her lyrics, I just learned these people only raise you to cage you in their Sunday best, clutching their pearls, saying what a mess. I just learned these people try and save you because they hate you. That's what the God of this world wants to use all the people that he's put in positions of fame and status. He wants that anti-Christ message to go out there. Christ turned all that down because he knew his mission was to die on the cross to atone for the sins of all of us so that we could be reconciled to God despite our sin in the eternal. When we're done living this life, this life is a drop in the ocean of eternity. But Satan wasn't done tempting. He wants to give people who are morally compromised or who he know he can morally compromise platforms to demonize those who truly stand up for truth. Now, I, I talk all, often about the false representations of Jesus that are out now that are just, he's all love and he doesn't call out sin. He loves the sinner, but yes, he hates the sin because sin separates us from God. So when you're caught up in a sinful lifestyle... Whether you know it or not, it's separating you from the one true God that created you and bringing you in harmony, in a bondage with the God of this world who wants you to live in the flesh and be captured by your feelings and emotions, which music does wonderfully. You know, you, you get these lyrics. She also talks about um, he was chaos, he was revelry, bedroom eyes like a remedy, talking about soon the elders had convened down at City Hall. A lot of kind of legalistic sounding terminology when people talk about faith. And he was chaos. He was revelry. Revelry is like loud, boisterous, usually when drunk. Um, chaos is what the God of this world is. Satan, the devil, whatever you want to call him. He is chaos. It's organized chaos. It's building up idols so that people begin to worship them when they seem safe. And then as they take a turn for the darker or for the worse... People are already bought in. They've already been hook, line, and sinker following these people. So when you put anyone in this world who is a celebrity before God, you stand a good chance of being deceived and falling for the low-lying cheese that these artists offer to anyone who is living in the flesh. Because, sure, we want to do what we want to do. The flesh always wants to do what we want to do without restriction. A lot of these lyrics...
play into that. All of this stuff, it's a perfect blending of gaslighting, projection, of blending the truth with lies, you know, false re representations of who Christians are, who true believers of Christ are. I hate even saying Christian because Jesus didn't come to build a religion called Christianity. He was the Christ, the Messiah. Jesus was God in the flesh that came to die to enter into the second covenant, into the second heaven. And when he comes back, that's what we'll be ushered into. But we're living in an age of grace that began with his sacrifice on the cross. Everything in this world wants us to reject that. It wants us to spit on the grave of Christ. She has another song where she talks about, you might as well crucify me or, or pull the stone away. There's a lot of allusion to Scripture, but it makes a mockery out of it. And it's, it's so sad that so many people will be misled because they loved her when she was giving lyrics that people could relate to and songs that people could relate to. And even the songs that these lyrics are in, when you hear it, it doesn't sound nefarious, but when you actually read the lyrics, it's very scary, the things being put out there to poison people's minds against God and against people who serve God, albeit imperfectly at times. So I hope people... I hope you can become aware of the bait and switch that happens of people who accept the deal that Jesus turned down from the mountaintop. They accepted the deal to bow down and worship Satan. Now, worship means to have great respect for, to be devoted to, to honor. And when these people that have taken that deal are turning to the dark side, they're, they're giving honor and worship and respect to the one that they serve, which is the God of this world, who wants to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he wants. He hates anyone created in God's image, which every one of us is, if you were seeing this right now. Every male and female created in God's image. I pray you see Jesus today and you don't fall for the bait and switch, that it raises an alarm internally on the moral compass inside of you that God gave you with your conscience. And that you start to dissect the lyrics and then maybe get into God's word as well. That's where you can find true liberation and peace and find the one true God worthy of worship. God bless you. See you tomorrow.